哈喽，你好，我是莱斯，欢迎来到我的频道。今天、呃、很高兴的邀请到原子之星的、呃、游戏总监来参加我们的访问。Thank you very much. Happy to meet you. My name is Robert. I am、uh, CEO of Mantfish and Game Director of Atomic Heart. Today we are here at Taipei Show. I want to say thank you to our Partners for Divinity for setting all these things up and to inviting us. This is our first game. We are developing it、uh, more than five years. We are excited to deliver this game, and I hope you will enjoy it. 那我们都知道这是一款第一人称的动作角色扮演游戏。它是一款以苏联为架空世界的背景主题的动作冒险。Why do we take this theme? When we started doing this game, Artem Galeev, this is my friend and our director of the game, also founder. He had initial like、um, thoughts, initial design of the storyline.、Uh, some levels was already done, some robots. We was very excited to take this already、uh, existing. Setting. Because I have played it for two hours, and I saw many amazing high-tech devices. For example, you can see some planes flying in the sky. But in it, we can also see a telephone conversation. The old products and the new technologies bring a very strong conflict. Is there any evidence for this conflict, or is it just a theory of the sky? For me, it's、like、normal that we are combining these different things because if we just reinvent everything, it will be a completely different world. For example, if you Remember, there was a game like Resistance. It was a first-person shooter, and there was a part、mm -hmm. when you you can visit the spaceship of the aliens, and there was everything was different.、Mm -hmm. Everything. The doors was the ceiling, the floors, the and it was completely unrecognizable. What? It is. We didn't、uh, wanted to、uh, do something like that because it will completely shift the setting from USSR to something else, which will not reference to your、uh, brain. Because when you play in Atomic Heart, you see、uh, some new technologies、mm -hmm. uh, combined with some old ones, and these eclectics made this game very interesting to explore. That's why we keep it. Currently, in this world, where Living in the same way, we see cars and、uh, like flying rockets. I I don't know. So a lot of things are combined, but in our world, it's like a totally normal for us.、Mm -hmm. But in this game, when we shift into the past, we see the same things, but the, with the, some different objects, and that's why it works. We just noticed that the vending machine was very friendly and very friendly. It was very friendly. 就是他是一个很有趣的人。这一台机器，这个角色，他会在未来的故事占有比较大的位置，或是有没有更多类似这样子的角色出现？因为我个人是喜欢在游戏中取得欢乐感的。This craft machine is a bit crazy. She recognizes herself like a crazy woman and want to kill everybody around. You have. Uh, to deal with her because、uh, she is the only way to create some weapon,、mm -hmm. and without weapon you will die. So you're forced to talk with her. <laughs> <laughs> It's very important part of the game. The old characters in this game was、uh, mm -hmm. this grandmother, old、uh, woman. She also has a very specific intrigue in the plot. So the game shall entertain you. Yeah. So if it shall entertain you. It will do it only if the characters will be special. That's why there is a lot of special characters in this game. We were at the beginning of playing the game, we would notice that their weapons were random. Those weapons would cause wounds on the human body. In the early stages, for example, all the other weapons and other weapons on the screen, these interactions are all the same? This is、uh, like a Uh, part of the core mechanics of the all damage system. All robots in this game they have like a shell,、mm -hmm. and the shell is removable. So in theory, if you hit it enough times,、uh, you can remove the whole shell、mm -hmm. from the robot, and it is very precisely register all your movements, all your hits, and all directions of the hits. And also, the all、uh, robots have their own internal like mechanism. The design of the robot was made with a 
a lot of engineering references and we made all the tubes inside the robot, all the like gears, everything. When you just cut off them, you can see the internal mechanism and this is a part of the, our uh, damage system we wanted to apply because uh, for me it's like uh, very strange when you play some game and you hit, hit and nothing happens uh -huh. and uh, in this game you can just see the internal parts of the robots and it uh, increases the level of immersion when you are playing against these machines. There is他们蛮多预告都开枪啊然后冰霜啊然后又换一把枪出来那么乱开这个预告跟我们实际在玩的时候有那么一点点的落差就是我们在玩的时候子弹相当的不足哎那就会不禁的让我们想好奇说这一款
What are you talking about? There is no story in the game. There's only one word in the beginning, like a uh, huyena, and that's all. Now, we just thank the director of the show. Then we will end the show here. We will see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you.